I didn't realize I had an audience. Isabel, this is... The true soul who's going to save us all. Pleased to meet you. We've been waiting, hoping against hope, for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess, Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good news. Like a nasty little terrier. There is, actually. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Marcus, what's wrong? Isabel, I've just gotten word. I need you to come with me. Do you hear his orders? Come with you? Where? Let's do this. Remember, Ketherick wants her alive. What the hell is going on? You! You're one of them, aren't you? What fools you both are. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is he's promised you. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Isabel! No! What in the nine hells happened? And you had no idea. After Marcus vouched for you at the gate, he didn't confide in you?
I suppose I have no choice but to believe you. Isabel is gone. Soon the shadows will wash us all away. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, you must destroy the cult of the Absolute. Their leader is a man called Keverick Thorn. He resides in Moonrise Towers, and we found him to be impervious to the blade, <laughs> and to magic to boot. Even so, you must find him, and you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark, something stirs. It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. They're no longer who they were. Steal your hearts and steady your hands. To battle! You'll help me, or you'll stay out of my way. Isabel, the Salunite cleric that guards this place. General Thorne wants her alive. Oh, you're just like all the others. While the Absolute wages the war of wars, her faithful waste time fighting each other. I would have shared the glory of this mission with you. But maybe it's my destiny to take it for myself. Rick Thorne speaks, we all listen. Isabel's on the balcony. Should be nearly done with her prayers. Let's go say hello. I didn't realize I had an audience. Isabel, this is... A Sharon. At your service. Frankly, I'm surprised you're willing to help us. Your kind aren't known for their decency, particularly when a Sharon curse is our greatest obstacle. 
But if you are who I think you are, I'd be a fool to reject your help. The true soul with, well... <laughs> oh. Aren't you looking for a protection spell? For now. If not... <laughs> it hurts. Well, this will... But they're... Uh, curious. Surely the Night Singer could have shielded all her followers and made this place her domain long... I suppose Sha... I'll stop needling you, though. You have more important things to do, after all. Ha ha. You're not serious, are you? Where's Marcus? Thanks for the introduction. Not a step closer, Marcus. I'm warning you. I don't know what your game is, but you can still redeem yourself if you follow my lead. My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. <sighs> Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. You fool. The Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Where's Jahira? Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite. Some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive... I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you... I hope I won't have to. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. <laughs> <laughs> 